Hello, and welcome back to another glue-filled episode of Minis for Pennies. I'm your ever-scrounging host, Poor Andy, a.k.a. the Dungeon Miser, and I have a nice and easy episode for you this week that is all about one of my favorite monsters to unleash, and that is Swarms. Swarms are great to unleash because they are so icky. A single monster can be a terror, but a mob of small bugs or rats or whatever you want is so much worse because they trigger absolute revulsion. You can buy swarm miniatures, but they are a bit expensive for what you get, and you're also rather limited as to what size your swarms can be. So today, I'm going to show you how to make three cheap and easy swarms any size you wish for your dungeons. It's getting close to Halloween, so that means all three of the swarms I'm going to make today are going to come out of this bag of spider confetti I bought at Walmart. Walmart has been selling these bags for years, and you still get 100 thumbnail size spiders for a dollar. These look great on their own bases, or as you may have already figured out, you can glue several of them to a bigger base. Prime them with Mod Podge, and paint them up for a swarm. This one used 13 spiders, so total cost is 13 pennies for the spiders, a penny for the base, and a penny for art supplies. So that's 15 pennies for a 3 inch size swarm of spiders, or 6 swarms for a dollar. But that's not all you can do with these bugs. For example, good looking centipedes for games are difficult to find in the toy aisle, and if they do look good, they are usually far too large to pass as small or medium sized monsters. We can, however, use our spiders to make some really creepy centipedes that are just the right size. The secret is to snip the butts off of five or six spiders and glue the leggy segments you have left over together. When the glue is set, you can take some extra legs and glue them to the head and tail of the centipede for antenna and the butt antennas that centipedes have for some reason. Then you can prime that whole thing with Mod Podge and paint, and here's a swarm of centipedes. Of course you can put these guys on their own bases, or make a really long centipede, whatever you like. For this swarm of centipedes, it was 18 pennies for the spiders, a penny for the base, and a penny for the art supplies. So 20 pennies each, or 5 for a dollar. Finally, I had a viewer request for Sturges. If you don't know what a Sturge is, it's a cross between a vampire bat and a mosquito. They are ugly, gross, and love to swarm around things full of blood. Wait a minute, gold stealing murder hobos who invade my dungeons are full of blood. Perfect. But instead of paying $6 for a single Sturge miniature, let's make a swarm for pennies instead. We go back to our bag of spider confetti and turn a spider over. I pulled two of the back legs off and then I snip the remaining six legs down to the first joint to leave stubby feet pointing down. Next comes the wings. I have seen some people try to print wings on cardstock and cut them out with an X-Acto knife. It looks good, but I do not recommend this technique unless you have lots and lots of time and lots and lots of patience. I have lots of neither, so I prefer to use another kind of confetti. Right next to the spiders, they sell bat confetti. Uh, it's just a bunch of little bat-shaped flat cutouts that are perfect for wings. 
Select a size of confetti that complements your spiders. For example, mine is exactly two centimeters wide. So I just bend this confetti into V shapes and glue them to the spider body to form the double set of wings. For the blood sucking proboscis, I took one of the legs I popped off the back and glued it right on the front with the slight bend pointing down. To hold them in a flying position, I made flying bases with the nylon bristles of a dollar store hairbrush. I just tug them out of the brush with a pair of needle nose pliers and one, one bristle is enough to give you the whole swarm and then some. And the bodies are so light uh, that a single bristle can hold one up. Mod Podge and paint and here is the finished swarm. Again, these can be based individually if you want and they also make great decorations on swamp trees. Price for the swarm is perfect. Five pennies for the spiders, a penny for the bat wings, a penny for the base, and a pity for the art supplies, so eight pennies a swarm or 12 for a dollar. So there you go, three different monster swarms from one 99 cent bag of spiders. And I bet there are more swarms you can think of to make from these cheap little bugs. I'm sure they would make great wasps or any other kind of little bug. And if you found this episode useful, hit that like and subscribe button for more minis for pennies. Thanks for watching and have fun.